Hello everybody, today I'm going to do an iPhone operating system 3.0 update, 3.0 update, uh, a walkthrough of the update. And there's many, many features in 3.0, but I'm just going to go over uh, a bunch of them that I find more interesting, that I think you're going to find more interesting, that you guys want to hear about. So let's start it off with Spotlight. you probably heard of Spotlight before. If you go to the first page of apps, you'll see right here there's a little search sign. It looks like a dot here, but it's actually a little search sign with a magnifying glass right here. And if you scroll to the left, you get a search bar where you can search your whole device. So let's type in App Store. And as I type in App, we get App Store and a whole bunch of applications that I already have. We have music. Oh, we have a video right here. We have notes and we have, uh, we have a whole bunch of mail. So Spotlight lets you search your whole device no matter what kind of file it is. The next feature has to do with the YouTube application. There's an update for the YouTube application and you can now log in, comment, rate, subscribe right from your iPod. So that's really cool. Especially if you have a YouTube account like me, you can look at the featured, most viewed, favorites, on and on can organize down here your subscriptions your you can search you can look at your videos history and more that's really cool update because <clears throat> I didn't really use the YouTube app before that I could just go online but I think I'm going to use it a lot more so the next thing is you can go to the App Store and you can download well you can make a Apple iTunes account right from the iPod so you don't have to go onto your computer to go to iTunes and launch iTunes and make a new account with all this information and stuff no you can do it right from your iPod so that's definitely a plus you just click sign in if you aren't already signed in and then from there you can choose sign in or create a new account so the next feature I'm going to go over is really quick just in the mail application you can now search your mail. So if you're like me and you have a lot of mail that you never delete for no reason, you just like to have it, you could search it. Very nice to use. Blah blah blah. It'll come up with the searches. So that is very useful. Thank you Apple for including that. The next thing is copy and paste. This is going to take a little while to go over because I want to show you a bit more about it. But I'll try and do it quickly. So let's say I've typed up these uh, sample blah 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 stuff, random letters. If you just wait till the magnifying glass comes up and let go, you can select the text, select all the text or paste. So I'm going to click select and then we get these two blue bars which we can drag on either side to shorten or lengthen the selection. And then from there we can cut, copy, or paste. So let's say copy and then I can paste. I can also select all and then cut and then paste. And then I can also use this in other applications. If I go to mail, I can post in a new message. So that's really useful. You can post stuff on the internet, copy pictures. You can copy pictures. That's really neat. So we've been waiting a while for this and it's finally come out and they, Apple did a great job with it. So that's a plus for Apple. The next thing is really quick also, if you go to music, <clears throat> unless you're listening to a song, I'm listening to a song right now, if you click on the, uh, what to call it, if you drag the bar, it'll say high speed scrubbing. Slide your finger to, down to adjust the scrubbing rate. So if we slide it side to side, we can scroll through the song and it actually plays the song while we're scrolling so it doesn't pause the song and that kind of stuff. And then if we scroll up or down, you can see. They say half speed, high speed. So not really useful at all for me, but that is a neat feature. Uh, I don't really know what it's supposed to be used for. I'm not uh, 
more into music like other people are, but that's a cool feature. Next thing is really quick also, Apple has added the Bluetooth capabilities for what they call peer-to-peer -peer gaming. So if you and your friend have iPods, you can use Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi or 3G, you can use Bluetooth <coughs> to play each other in a multiplayer game or share data from your iPods or iPhones, like um, notes and stuff, connect them right next to each other. And if you go to settings, and you go to general, and then you could see Bluetooth, and it'll actually, if you have a Bluetooth device and it's on, it'll actually search for the devices. I have none in my room right now, but if you do, I probably show up there. Also, push notifications right here. As you know, if you have like a mail application, you get new mail. If you have push on, then the it'll say the number of new mail you have. Now they've added that for all applications. So let's say aim. Let's say you get a new IM, you don't know, you, there's no sounds or anything. But with push notifications on, it'll show a little sign, maybe even a sound, to notify you when you've gotten a new IM. So that's definitely a big step up for Apple. Uh, next is a new app that Apple has made called Voice Memos. You can record right from your iPod or iPhone. I don't have a microphone, I want to get one soon. But you can record songs or whatever you want to record, speeches. You could share it, I guess, email, post it to the web, save, delete. And you could also flip it over. So that is definitely a plus. And can't use it right now, can't show it off or anything. Apple has also announced that developers can make subscriptions to, I guess, digital magazines or something like that, right from the App Store. So you can subscribe to a service for, I guess, a certain price or something. Not really a lot of information about that, but I'm guessing something like a magazine, a digital magazine, <clears throat> where let's say you pay like three dollars a month, you'll get it'll automatically download a subscription every month or couple of weeks. So that is a pretty neat feature. Also related to subscriptions is in-app purchases, where let's say they've already done this already. If you've heard of Enigma, which is a pretty cool game, puzzle game. Enigma, the developers of Enigma, has, have used in-app purchases to let the users purchase map packs for a dollar each right from the application. So that is a really cool feature, I guess. We'll see more like maybe maps and characters and stuff. Like, you'll see like DLC and Xbox, something like that. Next feature is support for accessories. So, Apple had demonstrated something like a uh, blood pressure monitor where you plug it right into the dock connector for the iPod and they demonstrated something where uh, they gave an example where you detach it and it'll send the information right to your iPod so that'd be pretty cool I guess you could do it by connection or Bluetooth even uh, so they've announced hardware accessories add-ons I guess so I'm, I'm really interested to see what Apple and developers come up in that field parental controls. You can also shake the iPod to shuffle it. Something that we've seen in the iPod Nano um, before. Uh, something you'd think the iPod Touch would come with already, but they've already, they've just added that. <clears throat> so, to wrap it up, the last thing is landscape mode. So, as you know, if you're typing in an application like Notes, you have to type like that. And it's kind of annoying sometimes you click the wrong button, but now it supports landscape. It's much easier to type blah 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 blah. That's really neat. We've already had that in Safari, but now we have that in Mail, Notes, on and on. So that's just a, a great feature. Thanks Apple. And the 3.0 update is free for all iPhone users. And sadly, it is $10, well, I, 9 dollars to be exact, for iPod Touch users. Is it worth it? I think it definitely is. With all the things that are going to be coming out with, like, subscriptions and add-ons and stuff, and so much coming out, I would definitely get it. It's well worth the price. I'm really happy that I bought it. So thanks, guys, for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.